And welcome back to another episode of the All the Mods 8 building tutorial world series thing that we're doing. Uh, where we are building buildings from building tutorials that I find on YouTube, generally. Well, all of them so far. But uh, last episode, we constructed this dark fantasy house by Psycraft. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, no idea what we're building today, uh, but something I do want to finally sort is the storage situation. So I kind of had a decent system going on down here. Well, it would be like stone blocks and then like other blocks and then like wood blocks. But you can see things have started to get all mixed together. There's, there's bits and pieces all over the show. Sometimes there's a junk backpack for some reason. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit hard to keep track of stuff and some things like mob drops are certainly full and they're spilling over into other chests. Uh, it's not great. It's not great. So today I want to get some refined storage going. Uh, I think we're going to chuck it over in our newly constructed building just because it's a lot lighter on the interior details in some areas. And yeah, sometimes get little boosts from the elytra. I'm not sure where that's coming from. But yeah, I talked about at the uh, at the end of last episode, potentially putting stuff up in the attic here. Uh, now we could, of course, just chuck stuff underground, but I kind of want to avoid just hiding things underground. Um, we've already hidden a spawner kind of underground, so I'll try and keep that to the minimum, you know, just to kind of make use of all these structures we're building. So probably not much better is hiding stuff behind walls, but I've been thinking about putting some refined storage things back here. Um, we can kind of, you know, hide the cabling and stuff and just have the, like the crafting station thing um, be poking out the side. And then we can fit storage drives. I'm thinking maybe either in the wall or sticking out somewhere, somewhere. Cause that'll be a lot of storage drives. Uh, and then we could also expand over to the side if we really needed to. Um, probably not going to be doing much auto crafting with machines at this stage. Uh, considering we're kind of focusing on building rather than progressing through tech, at least at this point. Um, who knows, we might end up building, building like a power plant or something and putting a power plant in it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I, I probably won't need really intense auto crafting. Maybe for certain blocks. Um, so I'm going to try and organize some bits and pieces for getting some refined storage going. Uh, we're also going to need power. I'm picking, if I get away with just using solar panels, um, something that doesn't require much maintenance, that might be the go. Um, and we could probably go the mechanism right. It will require us to get some machines. Uh, I don't know where I put them. <laughs> I don't know where I would put mechanism machines at this point. We don't really have a building for it, and maybe that could be what we build today. Um, so I guess I'll just set up something temporary, you know, classic modded Minecraft style of machines just sitting outside uh, until we figure out where we want to put stuff. Because um, we're going to need power for that refined storage system. Right, so partway through crafting different bits and pieces, uh, we have a basic solar panel, which uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but um, I was looking at the best way to make use of the limited amount of slime balls we have at the moment. Now we've only got, oh okay, we've got 15. Um, but I saw this gateways to eternity thing. And I think this means you fight slimes. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try that out. I haven't actually used this before. Um, if we grab that and one of these uh, might be a gamble might be a gamble I'm not entirely sure how this whole thing works but I think this means we're gonna fight like waves of slimes um just need a little bit of slime uh, now we could of course try and find like a slime chunk and be pretty easy to hollow it out at this point and um, I'll go hang out at a swamp I guess but uh, I want to try this out so What's this thing do? I think that, I think the rain was just, okay, I used it on the grass. All right, I think the rain was a coincidence. <laughs> and 
that's a kind of annoying. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. That's gonna be the ticket. <laughs> yeah. Slimes are not much of a challenge. And it's doing like bonus rolls of slime stuff. I might just chuck that in my offense so we get the magnet action. Magnet action going. Cool. Oh dear. <laughs> we got so many of these things. Um, I haven't even looked at what we actually use this for. Making a water gem for making some speed bonus. Consumes water. Huh. Cool. Oh well. Slime is sorted. Uh, I'll carry on assembling some other bits and pieces. Alright, and not too long later, we are about ready to create a 16k storage disk. So this should be enough stuff to get us started. It is night time. Alright. So what we're going to do is, I might just biff all of this material stuff in here and we'll just hang on to the bits and pieces we actually need. I think I think this is going to be everything. So, I oh, my light just broken. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's a thing. That's a thing. We need to get mending. Um we need to get mending. Now, actually you can make like a elytra with um silent gear, which we might do because then I assume you can just repair it with a repair kit. Um, they definitely, yeah, definitely need the elytra for getting over here now. So, I think we've got all the stuff we need to essentially have our digital storage sorted. Let's go have a look. I'm not quite sure where we're going to put the solar panel. I've actually just realized I don't have cables and stuff. I probably don't have everything that we need. Uh... So if we're going to go up here, um, let's clear out this. Somewhere is my X. If this was here, I don't know if I want to set the grid like there or set the grid there. Maybe in there, I think, looks a bit cooler. And then we've got our drive and we can have our disk in there. We're going to need some refined storage cables. And we won't get a whole heap. So if that was there, then this plonk this controller here. Probably just connect that like that. Um, that's actually not too bad. Uh, yeah, we can actually probably get away with this without having um, like power transfer cables. Uh, although... Although, although, I am going to want access to this energy cell, which is going to have to go like there, which is okay. It's not, it doesn't look too bad. I just want access to this for like charging. Oh, wait, I thought I could charge that in there. That might change things. That might change things. All right, let's just get it going. So if we had our solar panel there, um, yeah, <laughs> not great, but energy cell, let's plonk that there for now. That's charging. Can I put, I thought we could charge these in there. I'm obviously going to need to make a battery. Probably just one of these ones, which needs one of these ones. Now I might just see if I've got the stuff here to whip that up. Okay, one battery. And I think that, that can go in there and get charged. And then if we hold this, we should be able to charge our wireless crafting grid. Which can apparently go in an angel ring slot. And then that activates, whoops, that. And it's charged that, cool. And then I'll have to set up the hotkeys. Uh, let's just, actually let's not charge that yet. 
And then we can have our controller here. And power is still going up. So that's good. We're not using, we're only using five. Five FE attack. That's pretty good. And yeah, I just want the access to this. Um, alternatively, I mean, without like making a mess of the roof, I might try and get a power cable. Actually, this might not be too bad. We might have most of the stuff for this. Ah, uh, totally. Okay, okay. Take it back. Not as big a deal. Um, and then that means we can have this solar panel like uh, right on the edge, and that's going to look nicer from the outside. Which means we could do this, and then we could have the energy cell here. And I assume this is going to input and output. If we disconnect that, that's slowly going down. Cool. And that's going up. We can charge this in there. Neat. Well, that was easy. And then, ah, uh, yes. We just start throwing <laughs> all of our stuff in there. Um, I just need to set up the wireless thing, actually. Um, which might have to just go there. Uh, it's only got a range of 16 blocks. What's the... Is there like a booster? Um, wireless. I forget how you make this range. These things, range upgrades. Um, I can probably whip up a couple of these. Um, what's the what's the hotkey for for this thing? We can just use it like oh, network not found. How do we? Oh, I think I'm missing something. Oh, network transmitter. I think I actually need one of them as well. That makes sense. Nether right ingot. Time for a trip to the nether. And the last ancient debris we actually need to, to get the ingot. Um, now there are options for doubling this, uh, which we don't have access to at the moment. Um, like elemental craft stuff. I actually have no idea how difficult that is to set up. Yeah. I think it would be a little bit involved. Uh, the arc is very involved. Uh, mechanical squeezer, it's a chance. Uh, don't have much mineral. This probably isn't too bad, actually. Oh, or the regular squeezer. Oh, I guess we totally do it this way then. Alright, so if we get ourselves the squeezer, I think it's literally. Just doing this. And we doubled it. And then we reset it. I think we'll have like a button or a lever or something is enough. Um, sure, we'll, we'll do that. Nice. Not the fastest and not automatic and not a 100% chance, but so far, so good. Uh, so it turns out I think you need a network receiver as well. Um, let's try this. We right click that. There we go. And then that goes in there. And then network not found. I don't know how we link. No, that's linked. There we go. Cool. And yeah, it won't have a lot of range yet. It's like a 16 block range. So still works here. It doesn't work here, <laughs> or it's gone flat, uh, because I suspect that network receiver um, probably uses a little bit of power. Um, actually, we're doing okay. Transmitter uses 64, receiver uses zero. Interesting, okay, cool. And then I can find the hotkey for that, uh, and then that can go in there. Cool. Okay. And then we can, yeah, buff stuff in there. Nice. And uh, yeah, so we've we still want those wireless boosters, which 
short of ender pearls. I'm gonna get a couple of boosters though. Just need some more of that. And some ender pearls, right? Now I'm suspecting that these might drain some power. Oh, we're out of power because it is nighttime and I only have solar panels. Right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, if I check these in. Yeah. <laughs> that drains 40. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, let's try with one. One is too much. One is too much. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to need to up our power generation. Uh, surely I can get a couple more solar panels. Um, cool. We're sorted. So we got two basic solar panels and they make 60 uh, FE a tick. And we're using 109. So we're only just making more than what we're using. Uh, but that's okay. And then I might just um, plug this here. I don't actually know what the roof looks like up there. But this won't be too bad. And this gives us 48 blocks of range, which I actually don't know how far that is. Like works from here. Still works here. Doesn't work here. This doesn't work here. Still doesn't work here. Okay. Works there. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's okay. We kind of just have to come back to the spot and then we can access everything. Yeah, I don't know if this is bigger. So wireless. Because like Applied Logistics has the infinite ones. Infinity range booster. Oh, one of these. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be tricky. I think there's like a progression system with the, all the modium stuff. Okay, we won't worry about that for now, and we'll just deal with the uh, the limitations that we have. But yeah, I'll start checking some things in there, and then trying to find a build, uh, like a factory type build, would be good, but. Uh, there's not a lot of tutorials on YouTube for them. Um, I'll have a bit more of a look though. All right, so I figured out what build we're going to attempt today, and that is a factory by Scorpios5. Uh, again, link to that tutorial video will be in the description, and uh, I do notice on this video he doesn't have uh, a list of the building materials, so I will try and keep track of uh, <laughs> how much stuff I'm using, but no promises, no promises. Um, lots of bricks, lots of bricks. So we might set up a way of generating more bricks. I think this one's going to take a while. See you when we're done. And we've added in the factory. Uh, so I mucked up a little bit. Uh, I kind of wanted the entrance to be on this side, and it's actually um, on the other side. Um, not too big of a deal because we've got a big flat wall here. But uh, yeah, not a bad build. The tutorial was a little bit hard to follow for the roof, but uh, again, linked in the description. Um, it doesn't have a materials list, and I know I said I might try and figure it out. I I think we can do something with the create schematic cannon or something, which actually doesn't look too bad to build. Empty schematic, running at the schematic table. Maybe we'll look at trying to do that. Um, I possibly won't share the schematic for the build since I didn't design it, and you know that should be something that the whoever created it gets to do. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, so we've actually got way more bricks than we needed. I went and raided a, another one of those dungeons that a lot of it's made out of bricks. Um, 
And I've also added on uh, this. I think this is temporary. I think this is temporary. It does look kind of cool. Like the windmill isn't super out of place. I didn't spend a lot of time designing the blade, uh, but it's okay. And uh, I chucked together this um, for making bricks because I thought I was going to be running out of bricks. So end result, bricks. Um, plus we get a little bit of junk ending up in here. Um, but I'm thinking I'll move all of this. It's not, like, it's not bad. It does look a little bit cool stuck off the side of the building, although lots of it doesn't render when you're that far away. Um, but yeah, I think that and potentially our other cobblestone generator. Um, this might be a good place for them. And maybe we can even combine um, the whole thing into one, like one cobblestone brick generator that, you know, generates a bunch of different stuff. Uh, and then we could tidy this up and then we got room for doing something else here. I mean, this was already kind of industrial. Uh, the roof is now completely oxidized because I had chunks loaded, which I'm trying not to do too much, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough bricks. I totally did. I totally did. So, yeah, not a bad looking factory, actually. A bit of a bit of a fan of it. Um, we do have this massive empty back wall that I want to do something with. But I'm not entirely sure what yet. So actually, I did intend for the entrance to be at the front, but I didn't <laughs> look far enough through the video uh, to realize that the way I built the roof meant that the, the entrance was going to be around the other side. But I think that's okay, because this is kind of like a farmland, so we might put up like a fence, and this will be like the edge of an industrial type district. Uh, and then around the front, we have the entrance to it. Um, kind of small, kind of small, but that's okay. Uh, and we've got that cool window design, and the smokestacks are quite neat as well. Um, I could probably go through and do a little bit more texturing on some things, like that's pretty solid bricks, but... Uh, it'll be okay for now, and plus it's annoying to, to try and fly up there. I could put scaffolding up, but yeah. Uh, inside, there was no tutorial for the inside for this factory, which is actually perfect, um, because that means we can fill it full of create machines, I think. All right, I think, I think this is going to do everything we need it to do. So I wouldn't say it's super compact, but it's fairly compact. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So, I kind of did it by just laying out the conveyors in dirt, and then now I've just gone through and done like chain drives or multiple gearboxes to change uh, rotation direction, and now we've got everything going in the correct direction. I think I've set all the filters, so cobblestone will get generated here. Um, I just need to chuck the water in those stairs and then some lava along here. So cobblestone will come out here. Some cobblestone will just go straight into a chest. Um, the other half will come through here where it gets crushed into gravel. Some gravel will go into this chest. Not the best place for it, but kind of without rearranging everything, that's, that's where it's going to live. And I should be careful because I could definitely crush my items uh, by falling in there. So, yeah, gravel comes through. Some gravel goes here, so we store some gravel. The rest, the other half, goes this way uh, and comes into this final crusher, which is going to turn it into sand, flint, and clay. Um, any well, half the sand and the clay and the flint will go into this chest, so we're storing that. Um, and then the other half of the sand is going to come through here, get washed. Some of that sand will get turned into clay balls um, or just voided. And then that'll get put into, cooked into bricks, and then we'll end up with bricks in here. Are we actually going to need that many bricks? I'm not sure, but we can muck around with filters and stop certain things flowing in certain directions. Not automatically, which would be nice, but, but this should work. So, I'm going to go get some water. Uh, go get some water and fill this up, and let's, let's test it out. All right. Uh... Kind of fixed, kind of fixed, and we got to get rid of that block. So, yeah, just a little bit janky uh, rerunning stuff. Yeah, just didn't seem to want to go out that way, so 
now we got gravel splitting 50 50 uh everything's and um, working we can just leave this running now we're going to have to sort storage this is going to fill up pretty quick this might fill up pretty quick yeah, in comparison to this which i think is going to fill up reasonably slow uh yeah but all in all kind of works uh and then i might just try and make it a little bit safer to walk around in here um and almost forgot to mention we have uh the windmill out the back of the building which i dug it into the path a little bit <laughs> uh, so this was uh I started off with the inspiration from a windmill design by Core Studio MC, um, but really it was just the the fact that it's steers and on an angle a little bit. Um, pretty different because it was a vanilla one, but uh, still inspired by that. But yes, quite a lot of progress today. We have our brand new factory, um, which looks pretty neat, and we also have refined storage yeah, sitting over in the, the house. You can kind of just see in the fog back there. But uh, sweet. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get a good view from here. Hang on. Oh, and also it looks like we're flying now. Um, I made Silent Gear Elytra, which doesn't show up. So <laughs> we kind of look like we're flying. But anyway, it's been Classic Duff. Been another episode of the Older Mods 8 building tutorial world thing. And uh, we'll come back next time and build something else. Might do a little tidying up in between episodes, but uh, nothing too major. See ya.